In this project, we'll be drawing the object shown here called a locator plate. You'll notice that this object is measured in inches. The units will be decimal with a precision of three places to the right of the decimal point. The limits will be set to 22 by 17. You can see that the object has a length of 12.75 and has an overall height of 7.5. The object has a shape of a rectangle with the corners cut off forming chamfers on all four corners. Inside there is a square that is centered inside the rectangle and two rectangles located on either side. I'm going to start a new drawing and I will navigate to my AutoCAD drawing file and I'm going to use my title block uh, template, simple title block A. When this opens, it opens to my layout. I'm going to change to model space and I'm going to set my limits. I will type from the keyboard limits and I can see that the lower left corner is currently at 0, 0. I'll hit enter to accept that. Upper right corner will be 22 comma 17. I'll hit enter and I'm going to zoom all so I'll enter Z from the keyboard enter for zoom and A enter to zoom all so now that my drawing area should be zoomed to that size. I'll start with a rectangle so I'll choose that from the tool panel and I'm going to click first in this upper left corner. Now I know the dimensions of this rectangle so I'll right click and choose dimensions off the right click menu. First it asks me for specify the length of the rectangle which in this case will be 12.75. Now it wants the height which will be 7.5. I have to choose the quadrant where I want the rectangle to be placed, so I'll choose this lower right quadrant, click the mouse once to establish my rectangle. Now I can zoom and pan to get that centered in my drawing area. Next I'll draw the square in the center. I have several ways that I could do this. One, using construction lines. I'm going to start a line and snap to the midpoint one end of the rectangle to the midpoint of the other end. I'll end this command by hitting enter and hit enter again to bring back my line command. I'll draw a vertical line midpoint to midpoint and then end that command. Now I'm going to use my offset modify tool. So I'll click on offset and I want to set the offset distance at 2.25. the distance from the center to the outside edge of this square. So I will click to choose this vertical line and offset it to the right. Click again and offset it to the left. My horizontal line I will click to choose it and then offset it up. Click it again, offset down. I'll hit enter to end the offset command. I now have my square drawn but I need to trim some of the excess lines. So I'm going to start my trim command and I'm going to hit enter to select all objects as a cutting edge. Now using a crossing window I can trim off the excess lines. Notice a crossing window is pulled from right to left as opposed to a, a regular window going left to right. I'll hit enter to end my trim command and I will choose these last objects and hit the delete key to delete these out. 
Another construction technique I could use for drawing this square would be to use my rectangle command and tracking to find its location. I would need to find the corner of my square. In this case I know that from the middle or the center of my rectangle I would measure over 2.25 and up 2.25 to find the upper left corner of my square. So I'm going to start a rectangle command. And before I start drawing, I'm going to enter TK for tracking from the keyboard. My first tracking point will be the midpoint here. And I'm going to click once on that O snap and start bringing my tracking line across. Now I want it to go to the center, so I'm going to click on this midpoint. Notice that now I'm tracking from this center point. Now I'm going to stretch this up 2.25 and stretch it to the left 2.25. Now the point I'm at now is the upper left corner of the square, so I'm going to hit enter again to start my rectangle command and end tracking. Here I'm going to right click and tell it the dimensions I want for this square. So it says specify the length, I'm going to say 4.5 which is the length of my square and 4.5 as the height. This draws the square in its proper location. Now, the last step in drawing my rectangle is I must click and tell it which quadrant I want it to be in. So, holding it down so it's in the lower right quadrant, click the mouse once to end the rectangle command. Next I'm going to draw the small rectangle to the right. I know that it is located 1.5 from this side of the square and 1.5 up to find its upper left corner. So I'm going to start a rectangle command, enter TK from the keyboard for tracking. From the midpoint of the square I'm going to track this way 1.5 I'm going to track up 1.5 and here I'll start my rectangle command by hitting enter again and ending tracking. I know that the size of my rectangle so I will right click and choose dimensions. It wants to know the length of the rectangle. In this case it's going to be 1.125 and then the width which is 3 and choose the quadrant for it which would go right there. I'll click again to end the rectangle command. Next I need to copy this same rectangle over to the same location on the opposite side. One way I can do this is to use my copy command so I'll start copy and choose this small rectangle. I'll hit enter to let AutoCAD know I'm done selecting and I need a base point of displacement. I'm going to click in this upper left corner and coming across I'll turn on ortho so I can move this straight across and I know the distance is four and a half for the rectangle plus three plus 1.125. That should make a total of 8.625. So I'll enter that from the keyboard. And that places the rectangle. I can hit enter again to end my copy command. If I want to check the location, I can use from my utility panel my measure tool. Uh, from this corner to the edge of the square should be a distance of 1.5, which I see is correct. From this top edge to the top edge of the object should be 2.25, which also is correct. Next I need to chamfer the corners. And from my drawing I can see that from the outside corner along the bottom edge I have a distance of 3.375 and an angle of 30 degrees. So with this information, I'm going to start a chamfer. It shares a flyout menu uh, with fillet. 
and I will right click so that I can set the chamfer angle. In this case I know the angle so I'll choose angle. First it wants to specify the chamfer length along the edge which is 3.375 and the angle is 30. Now the distance, I always choose the line that has the distance on it first along this bottom edge and then go to the line that has the angle and you can see the angle projected there and that looks correct. Now that ended my chamfer command I'm going to hit enter to bring it back and because I need to do three more I'm going to hit M on the keyboard and enter for multiple. This will keep my chamfer command active. Now if I were to choose poorly you notice that my angle is on the wrong direction. In this case I would right click and undo and choose the first the distance side and then the angle side. Because I have multiple active I can continue to use my chamfer command to do all four of the corners. My object is now finished. I'll right click and end that command.